Yeah, great atmosphere tonight. Compliments again to 3252 and the rest of the fans here tonight. Um, exciting night. Lots to talk about. Um, good and bad. Our group um, showed, again, good spirit. Showed they were a team. Showed they have um, have bite and uh, don't like to lose. Uh, that I was very happy with. Um, you know, things where we just talked about in the locker room, things to improve on um, would be creating more quality chances um, if you're having that much possession and dominating the game so much from the 20-something second, 22nd, 23rd minute on. Um, you need to create more clear chances. Other than that, um, there's really nothing else I told the guys and um, can take away from this game or, or see room for improvement. Hi, Steve. Hi. Uh, well, first of all, how's Carlos doing? And then how do you think he's going to be doing? Carlos? We took off at halftime, um, just precautionary. Um, we're still assessing what, exactly what it is, um, but it doesn't seem severe. Did you feel something? Yes. Carlos always feels something. Um, um, no, so like I said, just precautionary. I don't think it's it's uh, anything serious, um, but our doctors are still assessing, and we'll, we'll have more Recording moving in forward. Thank you. Um, Kellen, um, just... I think uh, stubbed his toe on, on one of the last plays. Um, I think it's more fatigue than anything else. And uh, Franco seemed like it was also more cramping or tightening rather than an actual injury. But we'll have more on that in the next couple of days. We don't have any clear answers on that right now. Um, also experiencing some pain, um, but he seemed like he was ready to keep going. Um. Just your thoughts on uh, trying to break down Portland's defense uh, in, in that final third. At times it looked like you guys were playing pinball. And uh, the impact of, uh, of Brian and uh, Latif in that. Look, we all know Portland. We know what they do well. Um, they're very successful at playing that way. Very result-oriented, pragmatic. Um, they're very good at it. Compliments to Portland for defending very well. Um, it's not easy uh, to, to stay disciplined for that long, and then with a man down as well. Um, and then in those situations, you need special players making special plays. And Brian made one in the end. Um, I thought he was very good again tonight. Um, and he made a special play to get us on the scoreboard. Um, and it could have been two. Um, it, we could have lost. So those these games are always very tight against Portland. It's a very good team, a very disciplined team, um, a team we respect very much. Um, and I think if we created maybe one or two more bigger chances, I think we come away today with three points. But um, we have to be happy with the draw tonight. I thought the team did a pretty good job as well. I think when you guys last two minutes. Everybody who came in um, from the bench did an excellent job, and I think was uh, the deciding factor in us getting a point tonight. Um, it's it's uh, very important. A message I also shared with the guys in the locker room that we have a very good team, a very deep squad this year, and, and one I intend to use. Um, and it's important that everybody makes an impact when they're on the field. Hey, Coach, uh, I wonder if you can discuss the first 20 minutes of the game, more or less. You know, I mean, uh, Portland was pretty much in control. I wonder if you were surprised about that, and how you tried to change, you know, the dynamic of the match. Surprised? No. Um, I don't completely agree with the statement that they're in control. Um, it, it's Portland. It's they're very good on the counter. It's vertical. It's simple. It's fast. Um, and it's effective. And, um, you know, their offensive game starts when they scoop up second balls in the final third or they find themselves in those positions. Um, and I think it was m more or less us being a little too standoffish and not being aggressive with our offensive marking. Uh, we also made a few, a few mistakes and invited Portland. Um, but after the 25th minute, after their goal, I thought it was, it was fine. Um, but also what I share with the team, you can't start after you go a goal down against Portland. That's not going to work all the times. So. Uh, Steve, obviously you just mentioned how difficult Portland is. When you when you know a team like that that likes to sit back and wait for the ball and you know some park the bus, what were you telling the guys that were coming in, you know, Dan Pisarski and all of the subs to try to break down Portland? Um, we told them we can't just expect to uh, go down the flanks and cross the ball in from from very wide. It's not going to work against Portland. That's exactly what they want. Um, 
you're going to have to break into their box on the ground and create more chances in those half spaces. Um, it becomes difficult. And then once we do get in the box, um, finish your runs. Like Falden in the end, just finish your run. Finish a blind run and good things will happen. Um, it isn't us trying to make the game ugly, for lack of a better word. Um, but if it does end up being that way, you have to finish the game that way. And you have to find a way to win that way. And we found a way to get a point tonight. Uh, coach, uh, you and Sarah Ray say, uh, coach for the opponents, this kind of discussion before the game. What was that discussion like? I'm sorry, can you repeat the question? I said you and head coach Paul Lennon yeah. in terms of uh, Giovanni Sobrese. You guys shared a discussion before the game. How was that discussion? Before the game, it's always friendly and, and polite. Um, I think um, I think he just congratulated uh, uh, me on uh, being becoming head coach and uh, welcoming him back to the United States after a fairly long stint away from home. Thank you. We'll take questions on Zoom. Go ahead, Charles. Uh, hey, Steve. Uh, you spoke about this rivalry a little before the game. Now that you've seen it in person, seen some of the uh, what seemed like some hot tempers, what do, you, what do you think that goes into that? What, why does this have so much intensity, especially so early in the season? I, I can't comment too much on the past, um, or what happened, um, but it's a, it's a, it's great. I love it and relish that. It's 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 a clash of two styles of football, um, and that's always going to be heated. You know, we believe in this, they believe in that, and we'll see who comes out on top. Um, it's a great rivalry. It's uh, it's great for the league. It's great for our conference. So, I can't wait for more. Thank you. Go ahead, Steve. Hi, hey, Coach. Um, when Franco Escobar was came came off today, um, you 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 decided to. Uh, play um, Ryan Hollins said, what are some things that he adds to your team and if I can add, add one more question um, what's sort of like the situation with Moon right now I know he played in a new position during preseason um, so how is he doing in terms of you know physically in terms of you know competition for starting place where, 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 where is he in, in that process right now yeah, Ryan showed that he's extremely experienced in this league understands um, uh, how to play in this league how to be successful um you know, he is versatile. Um, he plays both sides of the ball. He, he's very little time has learned our system um, and did well when he came on. It's never easy coming on that early um, when somebody has to be subbed off. So um, he was, he's a good addition. And uh, he's somebody who, like I said, who's versatile, can play in many positions um, at a very high level. And that's a, a great quality to have in your roster. And uh, we're happy to have Ryan. Uh, Moon, at a... A slow start to preseason, so we progressed him a little slower um, due to injury, um, and we got him. We have him into a you know physical, physically in a good spot now, to where he can get some minutes and play and make a difference. Um, you know his physical fitness is a big portion of his game, so he's in a good spot now, and um, you know he will play this season as everybody will. Um, how much is still in the stars? So we'll figure that out when that comes. Your last question. Hi, uh, Coach. Uh, just uh, your assessment of set pieces after these first two games. What do you like? Where do you think uh, um, they're getting close? Big improvement um, this week from last week. Last week was at times not always organized and, and disciplined as we like. We spoke about it this week, trained on it a little more, and we were quite dangerous on set pieces. Um, when the service is consistent and in, in the areas we were trying to penetrate, um, our runs were good tonight, the timing was good, and we're getting on the end of a lot. So... Um, I'm happy with the set pieces, but I'm happy with the progression from last week. But we aren't where we need to be uh, ultimately, uh, but we still have some time. And again, I think it goes across the board, not just set pieces I shared with the team. This is match day two. Let's not push the panic button yet. Um, not everything went as planned this evening, but the important parts of the game, the effort, the fight, the mentality, and finding a way, um, it's a huge portion of this game. That has been very good, and I'm very proud of the guys for that.